Hi everyone, in this final part of the workshop, we are going to show you how to transform your script into slides. Images speak a thousand words, so you are going to learn how to use visuals to help you speak a thousand words, because you only have a maximum of five minutes to speak for your oral presentation. Remember, you are not trying to read the WR to your audience, you are convincing them, persuading them to buy your idea using your voice, your speech, and of course, your visuals. So let's learn some ways to convert your WR into an effective script supported by effective slides. We're going to learn five ways to do this. We're going to learn how to transform the script into slides by asking questions, punctuate figures, appeal to emotion, get people excited, and use metaphors. So let's go to the first one. Right, so the first example will be about asking questions. We are going to look at this case study where the group tackles elderly at risk of social isolation. So in the WR, they have highlighted that the main reason why elderly are at risk of social isolation is because families are unable to diagnose if they are lonely or not because these signs are very subtle. So what is one way to convert this paragraph into a script? one way is to ask questions. So if you look at the script here, it starts off by saying one of the causes of social isolation is the inability to diagnose signs of isolation. And then the presenter points the audience to the slide. Look at this slide here. Do these actions look like signs of isolation to you? Okay, so rather than telling the information, the presenter asks the audience first whether do they think that these are signs of isolation or not. And then the presenter answers the question with a no, because these signs are too subtle for people to notice. So notice how the wording in the WR is very factual and the presenter has transformed the wording here into a question. So that increases the engagement with the audience and it also allows for the audience to think about these signs of isolation first before they are presented with the answer. So if you want to learn how to make this no sign here, let me just quickly show you how to do that. I'm going to mimic this slide on the right. So here's what I will do. So click on shapes, click on callouts, and we're going to choose this cloud here. So I'm going to use say gray with transparent. Right, and then we're gonna type poor eating habits. Okay, uh, Avenir. Okay, and then we're gonna create one more. Right, we need we want to have that no. So what we do is callouts, and we have this shape. This durian like shape, okay, and then let's give it uh, an orange uh, with a red border. Form create a new text box, type text box in the middle, put no like Montserrat black, no 100. Aha, okay, and we select the back, the shape, and the no together. Right click and group them, okay. So now we can move the no together. So the last thing to do is to animate. All you have to do is to click animate here, right? And then um, instead of using fade, I'm just gonna okay. So when we present, so we have poor eating habits bottom will draw, and when the presenter clicks, the no comes out. Okay. Okay. If it's too slow, I decrease the duration to let's say one second. Present. And let's test it again. No, there you go. So this is how you transform a script into a question.